So here we're going to do a little bit of practice with uh, working with arrays. I'm using the Chrome JavaScript console. So I went to the Tools menu, went to Tools, Developer Tools, and there's a section in there for JavaScript console. It's part of the whole Developer Tools section here. So what I've put in here is var names equals a new array. These two square brackets here indicate that this is a new array that I'm creating and by placing all this inside of here what I'm doing is I'm creating a new array that has four items inside of it. You can see the commas separating the four names. So I hit enter. I get undefined because I'm using var and creating a variable. There's nothing for it to return to me. If I want to see the contents of it, I can type in names and there we go. There is the array with the four names in it. If I put in names.length that is a built-in property of arrays, so it's a property, something that can be measured, something that, be that can be quantified. Four. Well, that makes sense. There's four things in there. That is the length property. It tells me how many items are inside this array. If I wanted to add something new to the array, I could use names.push. And this is a method, you can see with two round brackets, I'm going to be pushing something into the array. If you think of an array as a stack of Lego, Lego blocks, what you can do is push something on top. You get a brand new Lego block and you push it on top of that stack of blocks. So by saying names.push Jerry, I'm adding Jerry to the end of that list. So after Dominic's name, Jerry will be added in there. You can see it gives me the update for the number of items that are in there now. After I do the push, if I take a look at names again by doing this, there we go. Jerry is at the end. Jerry is the fifth item. So these are numbered 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Arrays are numbered starting at number 0. If I want to say names sub 0, so putting the number 0 inside the square brackets, Admir, that is the first thing in the list. Jerry, that was the fifth thing in the list, but that would be number four. Starting at zero, Jerry becomes the four, name number four. So names sub four, Jerry, there we go. All right, if I want to update something in the array, Jen's name, let's say I wanted to say Jennifer instead of Jen. So I'm going to go in here and say, names sub 1, Admir is number 0, Jen is number 1, and I'm going to just replace the old value with Jennifer, like that. Okay, so that's changed. Now let's say I wanted to put something into the middle of the array. We've got Admir, Jen, Chad, Dominic, Jerry. In between Jen and Chad, I want to add one new name, or let's say two new names. There is a method for arrays called splice. We're going to use that here. Now it's going to require some information. I can't just say names.splice, call the method and not give it any more information. I have to tell it what to do. So inside here, the first thing I'm going to do is t tell it what position I want to add the new things in at. So Admir is 0, Jen is 1, right after that would be position 2. That's where I'm going to add this new list of names. Second argument, how many things do you want to remove? Is there anything you want to remove? Well, let's say one thing. I'm going to remove Chad's name. And then the last part is, what are the things that you want to put in there? Well, let's say I'm going to put in my own name. And we'll put in Wendy. There we go. Okay. It returned to me. You can see underneath there it says Chad inside square brackets. It That was the thing that was removed from our array. If I look at the list now, there we go. Edmir, Jennifer, Chad is gone, replaced with Steve and Wendy and then Dominic and Jerry, the last two names which were in there before. Now the last command I want to look at is the pop command. 
if we go back to our analogy of thinking of the array as a stack of Lego blocks, push, put something onto the top, and pop will remove the thing on the top or the last thing added. So names dot pop. I call that method. I don't have to give it any more information. Just names dot pop. There we go. Jerry. That was the thing that was removed. And if we look at names again now, you can see that Jerry is removed. You want to remove everything? Just keep calling pop again and again and again. Or there is one shortcut to this. We can say names dot length equals zero. That's a little known shortcut. That will blank out the entire array and get rid of everything.